Open your mind. Open your mind. Open your mind. Open your mind. Open your Welcome to Jupiter's universe. Let's dive into the most advanced and creative methods for transforming the red planet into a habitable world. Terraforming Mars, turning the red planet blue. Welcome back to Jupiter's universe. Today, we're embarking on an epic journey to terraform Mars. Imagine a future where humans walk on Martian soil, breathe its air, and cultivate its land. Let's explore the cutting-edge science and visionary ideas that could make this dream a reality. Now, over time, you could you can terraform Mars. Terraform means make it like Earth, essentially. Um, and if you warm Mars up, you will um, there's a bunch of frozen CO2 that will evaporate, densify the atmosphere, and um, you'd actually want kind of global warming on Mars because uh, mm. Mars is about 50% further away from the sun than the Earth. Um, so it gets about less than half the solar energy that, that Earth does. One, warming Mars with engineered dust. One of the most revolutionary methods proposed involves using engineered dust particles to warm Mars. Researchers from the University of Chicago and Northwestern University suggest releasing these particles into the Martian atmosphere. These particles would absorb sunlight and heat the planet by over 50 degrees Fahrenheit, making it suitable for microbial life. This method is 5,000 times more efficient than previous proposals and uses resources already available on Mars. 2. Orbital mirrors. Imagine giant mirrors orbiting Mars, reflecting sunlight onto its surface. This concept, known as solar reflectors, could significantly increase the planet's temperature. By strategically positioning these mirrors, we could melt the polar ice caps, releasing water and thickening the atmosphere. Uh, it is. It, it appears highly likely that Mars had liquid oceans, albeit a long time ago. And there, there's a lot of ice, so there's, there's Mar Mars is um, covered in ice, um, and now the ice is then covered in dust for the mo mostly, except at the poles. Uh, so there's there's just, there's a lot of ice. In fact, I believe if if Mars was warmed up, you'd have an ocean about a mile deep on 40% uh, of the of the planet. Three, super greenhouse gases. Another advanced technique involves releasing super greenhouse gases, such as perfluorocarbons, into the Martian atmosphere. These gases would trap heat and create a greenhouse effect, warming the planet and potentially allowing liquid water to flow. 4. Melting the polar ice caps. Mars has vast reserves of frozen carbon dioxide at its poles. By melting these ice caps, we could release CO2 into the atmosphere, thickening it and creating a warmer environment. This process could be accelerated by sprinkling dark dust on the ice caps to reduce their reflectivity and absorb more heat. Five, nanotechnology. Nanotechnology offers a futuristic approach to terraforming. Scientists propose using nanobots to build structures, repair damage, and even modify the Martian environment at a molecular level. These tiny robots could help create habitable zones and support human colonization. Six, Biological terraforming. Introducing specially engineered microbes and plants to Mars could kickstart the process of creating a breathable atmosphere. These organisms would produce oxygen and gradually transform the Martian soil, making it more suitable for human life. Conclusion. Terraforming Mars is a monumental challenge, but with these advanced methods, we're closer than ever to making it a reality. From engineered dust to nanotechnology, the future of Mars colonization is bright and full of possibilities. Stay tuned to Jupiter's universe for more exciting explorations of the cosmos.